Modern pig farming technology has revolutionized the way pigs are raised, focusing on efficiency, animal welfare, and sustainability. From birth until about three weeks old, pigs are known as piglets. During this crucial early stage of life, piglets receive special care to ensure they grow healthily and thrive. Newborn piglets are typically kept in a farrowing crate with their mother. This environment is designed to provide the piglets with the necessary warmth and protection, reducing the risk of accidental crushing by the sow. The flooring in these crates often includes heated pads to keep the piglets warm, and the area is usually equipped with heat lamps to maintain an optimal temperature. For the first three weeks, piglets rely on their mother's milk, which provides essential nutrients and antibodies that help build their immune systems. As piglets grow and are weaned from their mother, they are moved to nursery pens where they continue to receive carefully managed nutrition and care. Here, they are grouped with other piglets of similar size to reduce stress and competition for food. The nursery environment is also kept at an optimal temperature and is regularly cleaned to maintain hygiene standards. Along the floor of the crate, there is a trough that supplies additional food to supplement the piglet's diet as they begin to wean from their mother. This trough typically contains specially formulated feed designed to meet the nutritional needs of young pigs, promoting healthy growth and development. Hygiene is a top priority in modern pig farming to prevent the spread of disease. The barn is regularly sprayed with disinfectant to maintain a clean environment. This practice helps reduce the risk of infections and ensures the piglets have a healthy start to life. Additionally, the use of automatic cleaning systems and controlled ventilation further enhances the cleanliness and air quality within the barn. Once the pigs reach a significant weight, usually around six months old, they are moved to finishing barns. These barns are designed to accommodate the growing pigs, providing ample space and access to food and water. The pigs continue to receive a balanced diet that maximizes their growth and prepares them for market. The finishing barns also incorporate advanced technologies such as automated feeding systems and climate control to ensure the pigs are raised in the best possible conditions. The automatic slaughtering process begins with the humane handling of pigs. Advanced stunning methods are employed to ensure the animals are unconscious before slaughter, minimizing stress and pain. The automated systems then handle the bleeding, scalding, de-herring and evisceration processes. Each stage is meticulously controlled to maintain hygiene standards and ensure the meat's quality. The use of robotics and automation in these processes reduces human contact, minimizing contamination risks and enhancing overall efficiency. Once the carcasses are cleaned and inspected, they move to the cutting and deboning line. Here, advanced cutting machines and robotic systems precisely segment the pork into various cuts, such as loins, shoulders, ribs, and hams. The automation ensures uniformity in the cuts, meeting market and consumer specifications. Additionally, the use of sophisticated sensors and imaging technology allows for precise trimming and removal of bones, resulting in higher yields and less waste. The integration of an automatic pork slaughter and cutting line brings numerous benefits. Firstly, it significantly increases production speed and throughput, enabling processors to meet high demand efficiently. Secondly, the enhanced precision and consistency of automated systems improve the quality and presentation of pork products. Thirdly, the reduced need for manual labor not only lowers labor costs, but also reduces workplace injuries and enhances worker safety. Hygiene is a paramount concern in meat processing. Automated systems are designed with easy-to-clean surfaces and components, ensuring thorough sanitation. The reduction in human handling further decreases the risk of contamination, leading to safer meat products for consumers.
The automatic pork slaughter and cutting line is a technological marvel that revolutionizes meat processing. It ensures high efficiency, superior product quality, and enhanced hygiene standards, meeting the ever-growing demands of the global meat market. And processing method. Ham processing involves a series of steps to transform raw pork into a flavorful preserved meat product. The method can vary depending on the desired type of ham, e.g. smoked, cured, or fresh, but the fundamental process typically includes preparation, curing, smoking, optional, and aging. The process begins with selecting high-quality pork, usually from the hind leg of a pig. The meat is then trimmed to the desired shape and size, removing excess fat and skin. This preparation is crucial for ensuring even curing and smoking. Curing is essential for preserving the meat and developing its distinctive flavor. There are two primary curing methods, dry curing and wet curing. involves rubbing the ham with a mixture of salt, sugar, and other seasonings. The ham is then placed in a cool, dry environment for a period ranging from a few weeks to several months. The salt draws out moisture from the meat, inhibiting bacterial growth and enhancing flavor. This method is traditional and often used for high-quality hams, such as prosciutto. Also known as brining, involves submerging the ham in a solution of water, salt, sugar, and seasonings. This process can take from a few days to a few weeks, depending on the size of the ham. Wet curing is faster than dry curing and results in a juicier product. Smoking adds a distinct flavor and further preserves the ham. The cured ham is placed in a smoker where it is exposed to wood smoke for several hours to several days. The type of wood used, e.g. hickory, applewood, cherry, significantly influences the flavor. Some hams, like Black Forest or Virginia ham, are known for their specific smoking processes. After curing and smoking, if applicable, the ham is aged to develop its flavor and texture. The aging process can range from a few weeks to over a year. During this time, the ham is stored in a controlled environment with specific humidity and temperature levels. The aging period allows the flavors to deepen and the meat to tenderize. Depending on the type of ham, it may be cooked before or after curing and aging. Fresh hams are typically cooked before consumption, while cured hams can be eaten as is or cooked to enhance their flavor and texture.
The careful combination of these steps results in a variety of hams, each with unique flavors and textures that are enjoyed worldwide.